Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at two new figures from the He-Man and the Masters of the Universe line from Mattel. We have Powers of Greyskull, He-Man, and Evil Lynn. Now this line of course is based on the new CGI Netflix show that came out late last year. Uh, I knew Evil Lynn was coming and I think this wave also has an Orko and a Sorceress in it. Uh, but Powers of Greyskull He-Man was a surprise to me. And it's kind of just a translucent plastic version of the He-Man mold we got in Wave 1. Because they kind of, they just love to do He-Man variants and they always want to have some version of He-Man available in the line. Uh, you can see on the back here in the cross cell they also show Skeletor. As far as I know this is the exact same Skeletor from Wave 1. So I think they just want to always have him available as well. Uh, the cross cell does not show the Orko or the Sorceress that I mentioned, but I'm pretty sure they're also in this wave. So I just randomly found these at Walmart one day recently. I did not know that they were coming soon. I didn't know. They don't really advertise so much, you know, when the next wave is hitting. It's just kind of like it just starts showing up. So uh, very excited to check these two out, though. I don't know about Evil Lynn's design. We'll have to wait and see when we get out of the packaging. I watched this show. I don't really remember either of these forms. I'm sure this did happen. I don't think this happened in the show. Um, but I just really don't remember these crazy bat wings on the head. Again, sure it happened, just really don't remember it. But let's go ahead, let's get both of these out of the packaging, and we'll take a closer look. So here are the two figures out of the packaging. We'll start with Eva Lynn, since she's kind of the brand new figure. Um... She's interesting. <laughs> there are things I like about it. There are things I don't like about it. I did not expect the hair to go all the way down. That's kind of interesting. I don't really care for this like weird half skirt piece here because it really just kind of gets in the way and like completely hinders the articulation of that leg because you really can't move it at all. You can move it about that far out. Uh, can't really go back and you can't really go out to the side with it at all, which is kind of a bummer. Otherwise, with this one, you can go out to the side, you can move forward. Can't really go back because of the way her butt flap is. But yeah, the skirt piece, I feel like, just makes that leg completely useless, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, also, for the hands, I'm sure that these are supposed to spin at the wrists, but mine really don't want to. And I'm afraid if I keep doing it, it's just going to snap. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, also, she has the like waist spin thing she doesn't have it front to back like the other characters do she just has it side to side it's kind of hard to use though because with the arms not moving like the staff can kind of just get in the way also it's hard to get a hold with the hair like to try to to try to hold the legs or something to try to get her to to spin like there's not a great place to grab on this seems kind of flimsy i definitely don't want to grab onto this because it doesn't seem very strong so it's kind of difficult to like get a hold of her to, to do that feature and plus it it just doesn't work as well as the other figures do uh, i will say i think the head sculpt is kind of neat i really like the paint that they've done here on the inside of the bat wings because it kind of gives it like a starry like space vibe which i think is what they're going for almost like you're seeing into like space from the inside of the wings it's just a really really cool uh paint job there i think that looks really nice head sculpt's pretty good not too bad there like I said, the hair is just kind of weird because it's kind of like hollow on the inside. You can kind of see how it, it almost just kind of looks like a Hot Wheels car track or something <laughs> like, you know, some kind of like a uh, water slide. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. It's OK. It's not terrible. The head's kind of on a ball joint, so you can kind of get a little bit of back to front, side to side. It's just I don't know. I see what they're going for, but I think it's just a little flimsy because, you know, with the, the female frame, they tend to make them slimmer and everything like that. And so, you know, it's just a little flimsy in spots. The arms can move. I, I wish that these could move. And maybe if I if I try something, I just feel like they're kind of stuck in there and I'm really afraid that they're going to break. I, I assume they move. I think they're supposed to move. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they don't. The staff is okay. Not too much going on there. Just kind of one solid note of plastic there. No paint applications or anything. And it's a little difficult to get it into her hand, but she definitely grasps it. Uh, and she'll hold it. She's not going to drop it or anything like that. So that's pretty good. I don't know. I just I think it's probably one of those designs that, you know, looked good on the show. And it was just kind of hard to translate into physical form. And I think that's kind of what they're running into here. It's not terrible. I mean, if you're just going to pose it on the shelf, I think it looks fine. But in terms of, like, play features and articulation, it comes up a little short. Um, but it's definitely a very interesting design. And like I said, I really do think the head sculpt came out good. And I love those bat, wing, bat wings there on the headdress. I think that's really cool, especially with the paint they were able to pull up on the inside of that. So pluses and minuses there. 
Um, she's also seeming to have a little bit of trouble standing. She kind of wants to pitch forward. We'll see how that holds up. Moving on to He-Man here. Uh, I kind of love this. I really didn't think I was going to because I'm not a huge fan of just like basic repaints. But it's kind of a, a really well done uh, concept here. His body is this translucent yellow plastic, which really comes off uh, looking neat, like he's kind of living energy. But then you have all of the like solid plastic pieces, like all of the silver, you know, for the harness and the gauntlets and the boots and the belt. And that kind of grounds it. Like if it was a solid yellow translucent plastic figure, I probably wouldn't be interested in it. But the fact that it's got that kind of juxtaposition of the solid uh, silver slash gray color, it works for me. I really like it a lot. You have a little bit of cool white paint here on the arms. The sword looks good. You have that silver emblem here on his chest. And I love the white eyes. I think that works really well. Let me move the sword because it's kind of casting shadow so you can see this here. But I really like the white eyes. I think that looks really, really cool. Really, really nice. Now the head's on a ball joint here. It's pretty much all the same articulation from the, the Wave 1 figure. The arms can spin, no outward hinge or anything. The wrists move. Here you do have that front to back and side to side spring gimmick, which is kind of cool. And then you have a ball joint here in the hip. And then the uh, leg is one solid piece, so there's no knee movement or anything like that. But for the most part, he looks cool. You can go ahead and peg the sword on the back because it does have that peg there. And that pegs in pretty simply. And it looks good. And then just to do a quick comparison, here is the He-Man from Wave 1. As you can see, it really is the exact same toy, just done in a different color scheme here. But I kind of like it. Like I said, it's really grown on me. When I first saw it, I almost didn't buy it. I thought, you know, it's just a, a lazy repaint. But it's really not. It's actually a pretty excellent repaint. And it looks good. It's really grown on me. I like the translucent yellow plastic because it has those silver bits to kind of juxtaposition the translucent plastic. Like I said, if it was a solid yellow translucent He-Man, I definitely don't think I would care for it. But really nice white paint applications, especially those eyes look really cool. So I, I kind of went into this thinking that I would like the new figure more than the repaint or remold. Eh, it's really more of a repaint. But uh, I actually like it's the other way around. So I kind of like this one more. I like the concept of this. I, I just think the execution is a little flawed. Um, but it definitely has pluses and minuses. Like I said, I love the head sculpt. Everything about that design. Uh, it's just, you know, the arms are a little too thin. The wrists are having trouble moving. The skirt piece basically makes that leg inert. And the hair, you know, just not as good. I feel like it comes a little bit too far. Like maybe if they could have just had it go out more so that it's not in the way as much. I don't know. Just not, unfortunately, not one of their best. But we'll see how some of the other figures... I'll be interested to see how the Sorceress holds up. Um, I hope it's not going to be a problem with all of their female figures. By making them too thin, they become kind of brittle. And I hope that's not the case with all of them. But time will tell. In the meantime, I definitely recommend this guy. I, it's not that I don't recommend this one. Just know what you're getting into. If you just want to... Like, for display, I think it looks fine. If you're just going to put this on the shelf with the rest of the characters, I think she looks fine. But if you're looking for more of the playability aspect, uh, I think the articulation and, and certain aspects don't hold up as well. So, again, not that I don't recommend them. I mean, they're $10 figures, so I feel like you're not being cheated or anything like that. Just kind of manage your expectations going in. But otherwise, I think they're both pretty fun. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.